Hey guys, Thunder here, and the future of Android gaming is about to change with the Snapdragon 730G. So let's find out. So you guys are thinking, what's gonna change my Android gaming here? Well, Qualcomm just announced a brand new processor line, the Snapdragon 730 and 730G. Now, both of them have some really awesome feature. They're built on an eight nanometer chipset. You know, they have the ability to record 4K60 uh, in portrait mode, which is absolutely amazing. Wi-Fi 6 built in there, fourth generation AI. You know, they've got the new Tensor processor and you're going, wait, Thunder E. What about gaming? Well, it's because the 730G is focused on all those gaming features that you care about, and it brings those features from the 855 platform down to the 730. Now, we know the 855 does really well with the Galaxy S10 devices, uh, you know, devices like the Black Shark from Xiaomi, which does a fantastic job. But what do you get with this on the 730G? Well, you get, of course, Wi-Fi 6, as I mentioned, you get Wi-Fi management, jank reduction, HDR gaming on there, uh, which means you're getting full Rec 2020. And you've also got about 15% more graphical performance over the 730 line itself. So this thing does a really, really good job. But you see, again, you're saying, okay, Thunder E, what about the games? How do they actually play? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I got a reference device here in my hand and I got to spend a whole day with this device. So I did some PUBG gaming for you PUBG fans who of course know I am terrible at it and some Arena of Valor. So let's go ahead and check out some gameplay from both games.
So you can clearly see that this handles games really well. And I can't wait to see what other manufacturers actually do with the 730G. We know Samsung is about to launch the Galaxy A80 or A90, whatever they want to call it. And it's supposed to be running a 700 series uh, platform, which means if it has the 730G in there, it's going to game well at a price point that you like. And that's one of the most important things about this processor. It's the fact that companies like Vivo, Oppo, who make a lot of mid-range devices, can now pack in performance that actually gives you the gaming experience that you want, but also a lot of the camera and um, processor experience you can expect, including things like recording at 960 frames per second in there as well. So there's so much you get from this chipset, but as a gamer, I'm excited to see that I can actually do much more with the Snapdragon's 730G and I don't have to break the bank and you probably don't have to. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank Danny Wingate and Tommy and always enjoy your entertainment.